Hey guys, I'm Kent. In case you didn't know that already, I don't know how you could know that I have like over 200 subscribers. But you've been living in a box? Alright, so today I'm gonna rant. I haven't made a rant video before, I don't think, so you know, other people are doing it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna rant. I'm gonna get some off my chest and feel better about it. Maybe. The Oculus Rift, that's this. Oculus keeps saying and stating in the press and in the media that the Oculus Rift is a sit-down experience. They don't want you standing up with the blindfold on, moving around and banging your knee into something or tripping over something and falling down and breaking something and suing them. They don't want to get sued. But you can tell even Oculus, they don't even want to sit down and play it. They want to stand up and play it. At their Oculus Connect conference earlier this year, a couple months ago, the Oculus Connect conference, they had a new Oculus prototype VR headset on, on display and they had a demo room with it. And it's called Crescent Bay. And this whole demo that they had set up for this new Oculus prototype, which is better than the development kit too. The whole demo of Crescent Bay was done standing up. Um, every other every other demo they've done at any any other conference, they, they always had the people that were trying out the Oculus Rift sitting down. They didn't want anybody to fall down and hurt themselves, and they didn't want to get sued. But uh, at this conference, Connect conference, trying out the Crescent Bay, the first time ever did they have standing up demos for the public to try. But they did make you sign a waiver saying, I will not sue you if I fall down and hurt myself or whatever. And they also had a spotter in there to to watch you make sure that you didn't strangle yourself or something. Okay. So even Oculus, they don't even want to stay seated. They, they, don't, even, they don't even want to stay on their butt. But they're saying that we as the consumer should stay on our butt should stay seating. I don't want to stay seating. This is virtual reality. In virtual reality, one of the cool things about it is that you can move around, you can, you can spin around with it on, you don't have to stay facing a TV screen. I mean obviously for driving games and flying games you're gonna want to stay seating, but I don't really want to play driving and flying games. I want to play stand-up, moving around, first-person shooter, shooter games. That's what I want to play. I think that's what most people want to play with virtual reality. So let's talk about the competitor, Project Morpheus by PlayStation, that they, re that they revealed about eight months ago at a GDC 2014, the Game Development Conference. That they had several demos on display. PlayStation had several of these on display, and they were all standing up in these demos. And I don't think they had to sign a waiver to say they weren't going to sue Sony. I, I've watched a lot of videos on it, and I haven't heard anybody say anything about that. So how come Sony can do it, but Oculus can't do it? I think Oculus can do it. I mean, when you play Xbox, when you play PlayStation 3, you know, every time you update the firmware or whatever on PlayStation 3, there's a big old long bunch of text you gotta, like, agree to, you know, before you can proceed. You gotta, like, yeah, I read this and I agree to this, so I'm not gonna sue you, Sony, whatever. Oculus, why doesn't Oculus do something like this, right? Let's put something that you got terms you gotta agree to that you won't sue them if you stand up and fall down, and then we can have stand-up video games. What's happening now is if I, I play a first-person shooter with the Oculus Rift seated with a controller in my in my hand, I hardly even use my neck. I hardly even move around. I basically just sit there like I'm looking at a screen and use the joysticks to, to spin around. And it takes a lot of the virtual reality fun out of the game. It takes a lot of the immersion, a lot of the presence, takes it takes it away. Then all of a sudden I stand up and I use my body spin instead of the joystick and it's great. It does cause more motion sickness though as well. So that's probably another reason they want you to stay seated. They don't want you getting sick. Uh, getting sick and nauseous and, mo and falling over. But 
another thing is if you know I'm I'm playing seated down and I am trying to use my I, I am looking around a whole bunch. My neck starts getting sore because I'm I'm just using my neck to look around. I'm not I'm not standing up and using I'm not standing up and, and twisting my my waist and, and pivoting my feet at all to look around. It's all just the neck and then my neck starts getting sore. And one of the main reasons that I wanted to play I wanted a virtual reality headset to begin with is because all these mouse games and all these joystick games and, and all the constant looking around is hurting my wrists. And so I want to be able to just look around naturally using my feet and my hips and all my joints, not just my neck. Because now if you make me sit down and just use my neck to look around in these games, then I'm going to have neck issues. So I got wrist issues from the mouse and the joysticks, then I have neck issues. <sighs> I want to stand up and use my whole body and play and then I'll have whole body issues. No, I hope not. So I really hope the commercial Oculus Rift hardware can support a standing 360 degree first person shooter experience. That's my rant. I hope you guys agree with me. If you do, like my video, share my video. Let's change the world. Let's change how Oculus thinks and hopefully they'll stop saying that the Oculus Rift is a seated experience and we'll make some and the developers will make some cool stand-up games where you're standing up and moving around and shooting and it'll be great. Okay. So next time, thanks for watching. Uh goodbye. Alright, bye.